Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about strings and variables. So in Python, strings are basically just words, characters, or sentences. And to declare strings, we use single or double quotation marks. For instance, if I wanted to print my name, use double quotation marks, and I can do it that way. Or I could use single quotation marks and do the same. But the reason why we have the option of using single or double quotation marks is there are instances when you'll want to use one or the other. Um, for instance, if we have a sentence where we have punctuation, so say for instance, I don't want to play, and we're using single quotation marks, that won't work because Python thinks that the string begins here and ends where the punctuation is, whereas in actuality, the string ends after the word play. So to get over that, we just use double quotation marks instead, and that will sort out our problem. There we go. If we wanted to use single quotation marks, if we had to use single quotation marks, for instance, in, an, in a situation where we're trying to quote a piece of text in our string, so he said, I am okay. That won't work again because of the fact that Python thinks that the string ends where the quotation marks begin, uh, whereas it actually ends after we've quoted that piece of text. So again, we'll just use single quotation marks instead, and that will sort out our problem. There we go. Now, there's one other way we can actually bypass having to use single or double quotation marks if we're using one and the other within our string and that's a way called escaping the character so the backslash is a special character in Python which tells Python to treat anything that comes after it as part of the string so uh, if I typed out the sentence using single quotation marks I don't want to play now, if I hit enter here, that's not going to print correctly, as we know. So that's because Python thinks that the sentence ends here. But if I put a backslash, and you can see that the string turns green, and if I hit enter, it works perfectly fine. That's because the backslash is telling Python that the character after it is to be printed as literal string. Don't interpret it as a special character or anything of that sort. And that's just another way to do that. Now, just to talk about functions very briefly I'll, I'll make a whole video about functions but the print function ties in very nicely with strings so if we had a program that we wanted to run and actually display the text I mean in this Python shell um, Python is actually just blurting out everything that we throw into it but if we had a program that we wanted to run and we wanted to print out and display text Python has a function called print which basically displays anything that you pass through as an argument between these parentheses, between the open open brackets. So just to demonstrate something here, so if I wanted to print out a file path here, so put a file path in, desktop forward slash new folder, and that is a string, so I'm gonna put that in quotation marks as well. Now if I hit enter, that's not gonna print out correctly because forward slash n in this string is actually a special character within Python as well. So forward slash n tells Python to print out a new line. So it prints out a new line as you can see and then carries on printing out the string. Now another way, so very similar to escaping the character that we can bypass this is by telling Python to print out the raw text, the raw string and to not interpret it as a special character. And we do that using the letter R. The letter R tells Python to print out anything following as raw text and in a raw string. So if I do that again, desktop, forward slash, new folder, close the brackets, that will print out perfectly fine. And that's due to that little R telling Python to print out whatever we want as raw text. All right. So that's just the basics of strings. So getting into variables, variables are basically placeholders where we can use numbers and letters within those variables. So um, they 
are little boxes for us to store what we want inside them. So if I had a variable called tuna, for instance, I can store the number five in there, and then I can use that variable within an addition if I wanted to. I can also change that variable later on and store a string inside there. So if I call that variable again, um, it will tell me that it's holding the string Imran, my name. And we can use that variable and add an additional string onto it if we wanted to do that as well. So if I wanted to write out my full name, I can do that. There we go. And yeah, so I mean, that's just the basics of variables. Um, so variables are placeholders, like I said, they can store things in there for us. Um, so we've gone over strings as well as numbers. Now, what I wanted to get into in our next video is how we can have a little play around with strings, what we can do with strings and get into some more features of Python. So catch you guys in the next video and thanks for tuning in.